I'm State Representative Russell Weber. I represent the 26th Legislative District. That includes portions of Bullock County uh, and a small part of Hardin County, City of West Point, uh, and a small section of the City of Radcliffe. I chair the House Economic Development and Workforce Investment Committee. Presently serving my third term as chairman of that committee, I'm looking forward to building upon the work that we've done in the House Republican majority over the last seven years, building on that and moving Kentucky forward. I'm honored that uh, House leadership has again chosen to appoint me uh, to a third term as chairman of the House Economic Development and Workforce Investment Committee. Over the course of the last four years that I've served as chair of that committee, we've worked in a responsible way to bring important changes to Kentucky in the area of workforce, job creation, and overall economic development that is gonna make Kentucky an attractive state for individuals to come and choose to make this their home, uh, to encourage companies and employers to move here and to build upon the tremendous amount of progress that we've made uh, since we took the House majority in 2017. In 2013, I was appointed uh, as a minority member uh, to the Economic Development Committee. Uh, it did not carry the same name that it currently has now, but it encompassed the same uh, scope of work. And so I had an opportunity uh, for the last 11 years to serve on a committee that dealt with economic development. I represent an area that has had tremendous growth uh, in that area over the last 20 to 30 years. I felt like the experience that I could bring to the General Assembly representing an area that had enjoyed success in, in economic development, I could help translate that uh, into success that would benefit the entire Commonwealth. We are obviously going to see a focus uh, on the workforce issue. Right now, Kentucky has a 57 percent workforce participation rate. That is, is relatively low compared to other states across the nation. And so we're going to be continuing to focus on ways we can encourage Kentuckians to return uh, to the workforce, participate in the great tremendous job growth that we've seen uh, in certain areas of the state, and continue to look at ways that we can help those areas of the state that aren't experiencing as tremendous uh, job growth, help them to develop and, and relocate and bring employers to their region.